15 patients recently diagnosed with celiac disease, 15 a year on a gluten-free diet, 24 controls. They did spec scans on them. Remember blood flow into the brain? They did spec scans on them all. What did they find? They looked at all 12 areas of the brain, and what they found was that when there was a lack of blood flow called hypoperfusion, um, it looks less red and thin and yellow. This is the frontal lobes here, and here it is in the occipital lobes where epilepsy comes from. There's just a lack of blood flow. So cross your legs for two hours and then stand up and run, and boom, you go right down. Give your child a bagel for breakfast and send them off to school to think when they have one of the most common lifelong disorders in the country. Do you wonder why your kids, I know they're really smart, doc. I know he's really a smart boy. He's so smart, but he just can't do well on tests. How often do you get that in your practice? Quite regularly. He just doesn't perform well, but he's really smart. No blood flow abnormalities were found in the healthy controls. 73% of the freshly diagnosed celiac patients had hypoperfusion. Three out of four of them. A year on a gluten-free diet, only one had hypoperfusion. It's a very, very common symptom. This is why the brain is the most common symptom of gluten sensitivity, because there's a lack of blood flow. How many of you know it affects your brain? 60 to 70% of the room, because there's a lack of blood flow.